Welcome to another episode of Model Building with Alex Agix. Thank you for coming by. Today I'm going to do some model painting. The black primer on each of the 31 tanks that I built. I assume that I have the right paint for the job, that it will cure how, it, how I expect it to, and that I'm not going to have any problems. I guess we'll see. I'll start by painting the bottom of the vehicle first, on the turret and also on the hull, and then hopefully, after going through one run of that, then the, uh, I could flip it upside down and switch to the top side. Just as I assemble the model, I will start with the Soviets first, and then I will go on to the Axis. Let's get into it. All right, you can see just about all 31 tanks in there. This is like the unpainted start. And for this, I'll be using this Vallejo, Vallejo surface primer that I just got from the model shop and a paintbrush that I haven't started to use yet. Hey, here we go. Starting off with the T-34 with the broken barrels. Remember, it took me a while to figure out how to get those, uh, those, those small pieces out without breaking them. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of uh, iffy barrels. Here's the brush. And this is just one of those uh, model boxes where the set came in. All right. Let's do this straight out of the... Uh, Straight out of the, the tub that it came in. I don't have anything special for this. Any special equipment. And I'm going to be painting the bottom surfaces first. So, here we go. Want to try another source of light there? Okay, that's the first T34 done, and there's a bunch more to go. All right, there we go. The first set of tanks, eight T4s. Next up are the SU-85s, and I have four of those.
Now those are the four SU-85s. Now it's time for the four Soviet Valentine tanks. And after that, the KV-1. And that will wrap up the Soviets. All right, here's the Soviet army, all painted in their uh, lower hull black. Now it's time to move on to the American tanks. I have the 75 millimeter Sherman, the 76 millimeter Sherman, and the M10 uh, tank destroyer, and I'll do them in that order. Alright, all the Allied tanks that I have built so far, the T-34s, the SU-85s, the Valentines, and also the Shermans and the M-10s. Oh, and a KV-1. Now it's time to move on to the lower hull of the German tanks. We'll start off with the Panzer III's, go to Panzer IVs, and then go to the tank destroyers, the Panthers, and then the Tigers. Well, so far I haven't come across any major problems worth of note.
All right, here we go. Look at my hand, nice and black. Um, the entire lower, I mean, the entire army has had its lower hull painted in black primer. Uh, now, I need to go up here to check if this one is dry enough to, number one, uh, be held in my hands, and number two, sit on the uh, cardboard, because, you know, if it uh, if it's not dry, it's going to rip or lose its color. So let's have a look at how it's doing here. I think there's no problem with that. I think we can get started. The other side now. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to... Maybe I can't paint it all in one go. I think we'll just keep the, uh, the factory floor going. I'm going to paint, you know, the middle and the front half of these tracks. Since I haven't painted the side here, I'm going to have to do it in a different way. So let's start off with the, the top front part of the T-34s. Here we go.
right, I have now painted most of the upper hull. I just have to do the back quarters of these. And let's see if I can get it done in one sitting. Let's go. there we go all 31 tanks are done now have an army of black vehicles i don't know which one goes with which no, i'm just kidding it's time to let them dry oh there we go 31 tanks done in just under three hours about two hours and 40 minutes i had to kick it into high gear at the end there just to get it done as i i need to do something else now and I think it takes about 12 hours to fully dry, so hopefully they don't stick too badly to the box. Um, I'll let you know if that happens. I think overall for an undercoat paint, it's it's fine. Um, you know, what needs to look good is the uh, top coat. I'll be doing it a lot more carefully and individually than what you just saw there. Obviously, you can't. It'll be a lot harder to mass produce a uh, top coat, and uh, have to look at the models one by one to to see what kind of designs they need and what looks good with them and what works with the paints and the uh, equipment that I have. All right, that's the end. Thank you for watching this little painting video or the uh, primer video for, for the uh, Flames of War tanks. And if you like what you see, do give a subscribe and uh, feel free to comment anytime. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye for now.